Let's go. Oh, hi. Um, I have an idea about Tiffany getting down off the float. Where's Sarah? Neil kidnapped Sarah. We don't know where he took her. What? We figure he's probably going to pull his last copycat crime. Sarah got in the way. Come on. Let's... Oh, Bo, wait a minute. That location script climaxes with Todd strangling Tiffany at the clock tower. I'll bet you that's where he's taking Sarah. Neil is the stalker? Right. Damn, John, we got to get on the phone and tell the police to stay away from the clock tower. If he sees them, he's liable to snap. I'll call Ray. Oh, um, look, there's something that you should know. Neil took me up to the clock tower the other day. Yeah, While we were there, he told me that he loved me and he tried to kiss me. I was furious at him and I told him just to stay away from me. But when I messed up the parade scene the other day, it was because I saw Neil in the crowd. He was mouthing the words, I love you, along with Jack. This guy is gone. If anything happens to Sarah, it's going to be all my fault. All right, Mary Lynn, listen. I have a plan. You can help me out. No, we don't want to risk Sarah getting hurt. All right, Rafe. Listen, I'll, uh, I'll fill you in when I get there. All right, Rafe, bye. John and I both are going to be right behind you, but this guy is disturbed, Mary Lynn, so that means he's unpredictable. You're right. I think I have a better chance of luring him out of the clock tower than you do. Does he have a gun? No, I don't think so, but that doesn't mean he's not dangerous. If he panics, he's liable to do anything. You guys, John just told me that Neil took Sarah to the clock tower and you're working on a plan. You gotta know, Bo, that you're not gonna use her as bait. I'm the only one that Neil will listen to. Marilyn, the guy has completely lost it. He kills people without blinking an eye. I don't think he'll hurt me. Look, you don't know that, so let me deal with it. I'll draw him out. I'll take him on one-on-one, -on -one, okay? Wade, we can't do that. This guy is right on the edge. Now, if you antagonize him, he's going to take it out on Sarah. I have to try and please him. No, Mary Lynn, Wade, no. Wade, Sarah's life is at stake, and I just can't walk away. Now, let's go. I'm going to go with you. Good. OK. Come with that awful stuff. Insurance. This is my insurance. Neil, are you in there? What are you doing here? Jack came too, and he told me that you had Sarah. I knew how much you liked this place, so I thought that you you might come here. Is she in there with you? Yes, yes, she's here. You didn't hurt her, did you? Is she all right? Tell me that you didn't hurt her. No, she, she's uh, she's all right. I don't want to hurt her, Mary Lynn. I know. I know that you don't want to hurt anyone, Neil. You're so sweet and kind. And I know that this is all my fault, and I'm so sorry. It's just that when you told me you loved me the other day, I, I was so confused. I've been trying to work on my marriage lately, and, and I've been thinking. And I realize that I've been denying my real feelings for a long time. Neil, I, I realize that that I love you, too. Neil, did you hear me? You, you said you loved me. With all my heart. Oh. Oh, Marilyn. Marilyn, you don't know how much, how much I prayed that, that, that you love me the way that I love you. I'm sorry that it took so long for me to face up to you. And now that I have, I want to be with you, Neil. I want to go away from this terrible place and marry you and divorce Wade. Mary Lynn, I, I bought you a ring. I bought you a diamond ring. Can I see it? Will you open the door and show it to me? And then we can go away together. Mary Lynn, this isn't a trick, is it? You're not trying to trick me, are you? No, 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 Neil, not at all. I, I, I want to be with you. I know, I know where we can go. We can go to the Dominican Republic. I can get a divorce there almost right away. And then I can marry you and, and, and we can start our lives together. Who knows you're here? Nobody, but they'll be looking for me soon. So we have to leave, we have to leave right away. Neil, you trust me, don't you? If you love me, you have to trust me. Yes, yes. 
Yes, I trust you. It's just that I don't trust anybody else, especially not the police. Oh, no, there aren't any police around. Not yet, anyway. Yeah, but there will be soon, and... And so we have to take Sarah with us. She's going to be our shield. We're going to use her. We're going to get across campus, and then somehow we're going to get rid of her. Uh, no, Neil. No, uh, we can do this without Sarah. I know, I know that we can. No. No, no, we can't, Mary Lynn. I'm going to open the door now, okay? I'm going to open the door, and you're going to come in, okay? Neil, look, just forget about Sarah, okay? Come on out. M my car is parked right downstairs. We can be on our way to the airport before anyone knows we're gone. Marilyn, why don't you want to come in? You're not afraid of me, are you? No, no, of course not. I love you. You love me too, don't you? Yes. Okay, you have to trust me. There aren't any police around now, but there will be if we wait much longer, so we have to go right away. No, Mary Lynn, I want you to come in. Neil, you're not planning to hurt Sarah, are you? You have to promise me that you're not going to hurt Sarah. You come in and I'll promise. Kill you. 